What's going on everyone, Mar here with AutoDS. In today's video, I'm gonna be hooking you up with the most evergreen niche ever. This niche is one that's consistent year round and it's one that is never slowing down. In fact, every single year, it just keeps blowing up more and more. And what am I talking about? Babies. <laughs> so the baby niche is one that is of course, one that is never gonna end. I say it all the time, every single day, there's thousands upon thousands of babies being born all of which whose parents are potential customers. Mwah, new record. So if you want to find out some of the best products to dropship in the baby niche that you can sell year round, year after year, then make sure you stick around all the way to the end of the video. And I'm not just going to be giving you five or 10 of them. I'm going to be giving you 20 of the best selling baby products. So with that, let's just go ahead and get started. Now, the first product on this list is going to be the baby stroller hooks. Nice stroller. Hello. Now, what exactly are these? Well, I don't know if you've noticed, but a lot of people, whenever they walk with their kids or whenever they go to a park, maybe, I don't know, a museum, the store, anywhere, people are going to go with their kids and they're going to put them in their strollers. A lot of the times, these strollers are going to be filled to the brim with either things they're buying or things that they need to carry. So this leaves parents with a potential problem, and that is storage space. So a lot of the times, they're going to run out of storage space or they're gonna be carrying too many things. So these stroller hooks come in just to fix that. So these stroller hooks are gonna hook around where you grab on and push the stroller. All you have to do is just put two of them or even just put one of them and people can start hanging all of their groceries or whatever it is that they're buying or simply moms can hang their bags or even their diaper bags. And that in itself could be a potential marketing point. Have you ever seen those infomercials from way back in the 90s, early 2000s? You know, the ones where somebody would do something and it would be super over exaggerated. It would go black and white. Let's say somebody was trying to make a phone call with an old landline. They would go ahead and grab the phone and then something really strange would happen where they would Whoa! and they would drop it. And then whatever product it was would come in and fix that issue. Back then, there was actually a product that would stick to the back of your handphone or your corded telephone and literally stick it to your ear with a little hook around your ear. So you would essentially be making a wired phone wireless per se. But anyway, I'm digressing. What I'm trying to say is you can use this type of video. You can make something like this on TikTok and something like this will go absolutely viral. Think about it. For one, it's going to give the viewers a sense of nostalgia. So it's going to take them back to when times were more simpler. Aside from that, they're going to realize, oh, I actually have this problem. I always run out of space whenever I'm going to the store, whenever I take my kid to the mall, I buy so many things that I don't have anywhere to put them. These stroller hooks are gonna be the perfect solution. All right, next up we have a wireless video baby monitor. We need that the baby monitor with the things. Now these are an essential. Every single parent nowadays is gonna have one of these. Back then they didn't have them with video, it would simply just be sound. So this is essentially the upgraded version. This is something that every single parent needs and everyone is going to buy one. So my suggestion to you is make sure you offer these in quite a few different varieties. So for one, make sure that you offer a model that can be used to talk back and forth. So not only can you hear the baby, but you need to make sure that you can talk to the baby as well. Another option that you need to consider is when you're offering these, make sure you offer some that can accept multiple cameras. So a lot of people have different rooms where they're going to have their kids, whether that be their room, their kids room, the play area, the living room. So they're going to purchase multiple cameras to put in each room. This is a perfect opportunity to start upselling and bundling. So typically these are just going to come with one camera and one monitor. What you can do is you can offer a bundled two camera bundle and offer for just a couple bucks more. Also make sure this is imperative. Make sure that they have night vision or some sort of night sight because a lot of the times these are used at night. These are going to be used when the kids are sleeping. So you want to make sure that the parents can see their kids at night or in a dark room. All right, up next on number three, we have baby stroller seat pads. Now, if it looks like I'm going a little bit quick with this list, I kind of am. There's 20 different products on here, so I can't spend too much time actually diving deep into them. But if you want any more information on any of these products or if you want a cheat sheet, with all of these products listed, then make sure you comment down below the hashtag baby products and let me know which one of these products is your favorite. Once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. All right, back to the countdown. Now for the baby stroller seat pads, there's two different variations that you can choose from. The first one is gonna be an actual seat pad. So it's gonna be the one that you put on a stroller, they're gonna sit on it and they're just gonna feel a bit more comfortable. And the other one is gonna be these right here. These are actually stroller accessories and they're still pads as well. But instead of being seat pads, these are gonna be shoulder pads. Now I actually have this same pair right here, this black shoulder pair, and it works fantastic. I absolutely love it, but I did have to return my first pair. 
and that's because it was the wrong size. So my suggestion to you as a parent and as a consumer and as a dropshipper is to make sure that you offer different sizes and you clearly state those sizes. Make sure that you state those sizes in inches as well as centimeters so that way people in the US can also understand how big they're gonna be. Remember here in the US, we go by inches, we don't go by centimeters. We're a little bit different than most of the rest of the world. So just bear with us and make it in inches. It's gonna be a lot easier for the consumer and for you, it's gonna be easier to get a sale. Also try to offer a type of age range. So if these can go for, let's say, seven to 12 months, mention that these are gonna be for kids that are size seven to 12 months. If they're for one to two years, make sure you mention that in your listings or in your variations. This is gonna make it clear for the customer so that way they know exactly what they're getting and so that way they can make sure they get the right size so they don't have to start a return and then make a purchase again. Number four, we have a baby potty trainer. Now, some of these are gonna be standalones and others are gonna have a step stool. So the standalones are gonna be used by themselves while the step stools are gonna be used on an actual toilet. So these are gonna be for kids that are starting to be potty trained. And if you're a parent, you know how hard that can be. So an item like this can actually make it a lot easier. And on top of that, if you look at these different fun colors, like look at this one right here that's green and pink, this one's perfect for kids that just like to have fun and it makes it a bit more visually appealing for them. It makes it easier for them to go to the bathroom and it just makes it a bit more fun and entertaining. Now for easier access to this, let's say your customer has a higher toilet or a shorter kid, then you can get one with a step stool. So you can get one like this, or you can even get a step stool aside from that. So you can bundle these. So you can offer one of these little toilet covers for kids so that way they don't fall through. And for them to actually get on the toilet with ease and without falling over, you can bundle it with something like this, one of these folding step stools. Also, make sure you highlight the features. So if it's a toilet seat and it's an anti-slip, make sure you tell your customers that this is an anti-slip product. This is a great feature because a lot of kids, they can't stay still. So when they're on the toilet, they're constantly moving around and they could potentially slip off. Same thing with splash guards. When you're potty training, a lot of things are gonna be splashing around. So a splash guard is something that is gonna be really useful. It's gonna help keep everything clean. Next up, we have a shampoo baby cup. Now, if you have a kid, you know that showering them can sometimes be a bit dramatic. <laughs> so if they get soap in their eyes, if they get water in their eyes, God forbid, you're gonna see them start going crazy sometimes. They're gonna act as if the world's all over and they're being attacked. But these little cups are gonna make showering a lot easier. So instead of pouring a ton of water on their head with a basic cup, some of these different cups actually mimic a sort of mini shower. So if you look at this one right here, this one is the perfect example of what I'm telling you about. So it's the cup, and as you can see, it's actually throwing down a couple of different little streams. Instead of just throwing down all the water at once, it throws down a little bit so it's a bit more manageable, and so that way it doesn't go all over the baby's head or on their face. Now, to make this a bundle, to help you make a little bit more money, you can always bundle this with one of these shower caps. So what these shower caps are, are simply, as you can see in this picture right here, just a little hat or a little cap that you put on top of your baby's head to make sure that no water or no soap goes in their eyes or in their mouth or on their nose. Most babies, especially the younger ones, don't really know how to hold their breath whenever you're putting water over their head. So this is gonna help solve that problem. And bundling this with the shower cup is, they, they just go hand in hand. So if you wanna increase your average order value, then make sure you offer, for one, the cup by itself, two, make sure you offer the hat by itself, and make sure you offer them as well in a bundle. All right, number six, a portable folding baby bed or bassinet or baby carrier, whatever you wanna call it. At the end of the day, what this is is a bed that you can take with you or a bassinet that you can take with you pretty much anywhere you go. So if you're going to vacation, if you're going to a friend's house, if you're sleeping in a different room, your customers can take this with them so that way their kids can sleep right next to them or in any given room that they wanna take them to. So if you're a parent, then you know that separation anxiety is a real thing, especially with the younger babies. So a lot of the times they like to be next to their mom so that way when they start screaming or they start crying, their mom and dad will be right next to them so they can simply just give them a little pat on the back, give them some reassurance that they're there and they can go back to sleep. So these make it super easy for kids to be able to sleep pretty much anywhere on the go. Now when it comes to these products, there are tons of different variations. Check some of these out. So for one, you have one like this. This is actually one of my favorite ones. This is the perfect definition for portable. So this baby bed itself can actually turn into a little carrying case. So this is the definition of portable. You can take this anywhere. One of these is absolutely perfect. 
But aside from that, you also have one like this, which is more of a bedside type. So as you can see, it's a bit bigger. It's not necessarily as portable as the last one, but you can still move it around. You can still move it from one room to the other. It's just not something that you would take with you, let's say to the mall. Or if you're traveling to a different city and staying in a hotel, you probably won't take one like this. You'll probably take one that's a bit more portable, but this is still a perfect option because this can be portable throughout the house. Comparing this to something like a crib, a crib you can't really move around. I mean, you can, but you're gonna have to take it apart and then put it back together. Something like this folds in on itself a little bit easier than a crib would, so it makes it more portable. Now, as a quick tip and as a parent tip or a professional tip or a tip that comes from somebody with experience, offer these features. One, make sure it rocks. Make sure that they can grab it and they can move it slightly and it's gonna rock back and forth. That's gonna help kids go to sleep. Two, if you wanna make a higher profit and kind of make this into a high ticket item, sell one that rocks itself. So there are some that automatically rock. Instead of having the parents have to go up to it and actually move it back and forth, they could just press a button and it starts moving back and forth on its own. That's gonna help the parents get a little bit more sleep and it's also gonna help the kids get a bit more sleep as well. All right, next up we have another baby essential or another parent's essential. This is one that absolutely everyone is gonna have. And if they don't have one, they're gonna have maybe two or three. These are also gifted a lot for baby showers. And I'm talking about diaper bags. It's not a purse, it's a diaper bag. What? So everyone is gonna need a diaper bag if they have a kid. If you have a kid, if you have a baby, you know that whenever you go out with them, you need to pack a lot of stuff. And when I'm talking about a lot, I mean a lot. So much that you're eventually gonna forget what you're supposed to pack and you're gonna be missing things and I'm talking from personal experience. So make sure you offer different diaper bags with different compartments. Different compartments are just gonna make it easier for the users to be able to organize and make sure they see where everything is. Being able to visually see where everything is is gonna make it easier for them to actually organize and remember what they need to pack or what they're missing. Also, make sure that you offer these in waterproof versions. So a lot of the times there's gonna be a lot of liquids that you're gonna be carrying, whether that be water for baby formula, milk, juice, whatever it may be, those things spill. And when they spill, if you don't have a waterproof baby bag, it's just gonna be absorbed into the bag itself and eventually it's just gonna start smelling bad, it's gonna get discolored, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nasty. So make sure you offer these in waterproof versions as well. Also, if you can find some that have a unique selling point, then make sure you offer that as well. Now, what am I talking about a unique selling point? Well, check this diaper bag out. This one's actually very unique because it's not one that I've ever seen out on the actual streets, which means people need to start selling these because this is absolutely genius. So just looking at it from the front, it looks like a regular bag, right? Actually, it looks a bit more upscale, looks a bit more higher end. It's, it's actually really nice. But aside from that, from the front, it looks like a basic baby bag, a fancy basic baby bag. But if you look at the different features that it has, it folds out into a changing table or somewhere where you can put your baby for a minute and just let them be there for you know a couple minutes, of course, with supervision. The kids can hang out inside their diaper bag. <laughs> it's crazy. So it actually folds out and it extends to have this little platform on it. This is a huge selling point. This is something that no diaper bag offers, at least none that I've seen out on stores. And aside from that, check this out. It even has a charger built in. So it actually has an easy access charging port. So that way you can charge your phone while you're doing whatever you need to do or while you're out and about. These are two very unique selling points that not a lot of people are gonna be offering. So make sure you highlight these points as well. This next product is meant to protect your kids from falling off the bed, and that is a baby bed barrier. Now, when it comes to babies, you're not supposed to co-sleep with them when they're early on, when they're newborns or when they're one or two months old. As they start to get older though, then co-sleeping does become a bit more normal and it's a bit more okay to do, it's safer to do. Now, in that case, this is when you wanna start implementing a baby bed barrier. So a lot of the times people are gonna put their kid on their bed and they're gonna put a pillow next to them so that way they don't roll off. That is not 100% secure. That pillow can still fall off. They can still go over the pillow. Maybe they can roll over the pillow or they might even go under the pillow, which ultimately can be even worse. So these baby barriers actually provide a barrier on the side of the bed. So that way the babies don't fall off if they keep rolling. So what they'll do is they'll keep rolling until they hit that wall and they'll just stop there. Now, of course, it's not gonna be a hard wall. A lot of these are made out of mesh, so it's not gonna hurt them. And really, they're barely gonna feel it if they actually go into it or if they run into it or roll into it. Now, these are gonna come in a few different variations. For one, they're gonna come as an actual barrier. 
and that's this product right here. So this one's gonna go either under your mattress or under the bed itself. And most of the times what they do is they're actually secured to the bed frame. So this is one option. You, as you can see, this is a pretty simple, it's a basic option and it's a literal barrier, that's it. But then there's also some other ones like this one. So this one is also serving as a barrier, but it's also its own area for the baby themselves. So it provides barrier around the entire baby. This can actually make co-sleeping a bit safer, simply because the parent and the baby are not gonna be sleeping right next to each other. There's gonna be this barrier right here that's gonna be separating them the entire time. Another big benefit to something like this is just the fact that it's a huge space saver. A lot of the times parents, if they're in an apartment or if they're in just a single room, they don't have a lot of space. So having to add a crib or a bassinet, it's, it's just going to take up more space and it's going to be less room for them to be able to do whatever they need to do or have the kids play. So a bed barrier that protects the kids all the way around it can be extremely beneficial in this aspect. Now this next product is not for everyone. But it is for those that like to be eco-friendly. And I'm talking about reusable cloth diapers. Look, there was an emergency. Now, like I said, it's not for everyone. Not everyone likes to use cloth diapers. But the people that do are going to purchase a good amount of them. They're not just going to purchase two or three of them. These are something that needs to be reused all the time and washed all the time. So one of the benefits of selling reusable cloth diapers is the fact that you can sell them in either single packs or you can sell them in multiple packs. You can even sell these in packs of up to 20. I'm telling you, kids use these all the time and parents have to wash them over and over and over and over, especially when they're younger. So because of that, parents are always going to have to have a backlog of clean ones, which is why they're going to purchase more than one or more than five even. At number 10, we have an ergonomic baby carrier. Now, baby carriers are one of those items that not everyone's gonna have, but the people that have them absolutely love them and they recommend them to their friends all the time. Now, what's gonna make a recommendable, is that a word, recommendable? I don't know, I guess if it is, it is. If not, we just made up a word. But what's gonna make a recommendable baby carrier? For one, the biggest thing is gonna be how easy it is to put on. Baby carriers can be extremely aggravating to put on, so much so that I ended up throwing mine away at first. Honestly, it was horrible. It was so complicated. It was complicated to get the baby in there. It was complicated to put around me. It was complicated to do it by myself. I threw it away. What I ended up doing is I started looking for different options and I found a few easier options that are easier to use. Now, these are going to vary. Honestly, it's going to vary depending on the person. Some people are going to find it easier. Some people aren't. But the easier it is to put these on, the more likely you are to sell these in bigger quantities. Now, one of the biggest ones that I've seen lately just explode is this one right here. So this is a waist carrier. Pretty much what you do is you put this on your waist, you sit your baby on there, and that's it. Now, I understand that this isn't necessarily one of those that you can leave your baby hands free. You're still gonna have to hold them, but that weight is gonna be distributed throughout your pretty much bottom half or your waist. So it's gonna make it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to be able to carry the baby for longer periods of time. Something like this, lately I've seen it on TikTok, it's just absolutely exploding. Just out of nowhere too. But aside from that, they also have the more traditional ones. So one like this, let's say. Now this one actually looks pretty easy to put on. It looks like one that you just unhook the straps, put it on, and slide the baby in there. Now, sliding the baby in there is going to vary depending on the age of the baby. Some of them are going to be to hold sideways, some of them are going to be to hold up. Now, the reason I'm giving you all this information is because these are all things you're going to have to advertise or you're going to have to mention. These are all features that parents are looking for. A lot of these are even features that parents are willing to pay a little bit extra for. I'm willing to pay more money for an easy to use baby carrier. It, it, just, it is what it is. It, make it easier. I'll pay you more money. Now, another thing that you need to make sure that you highlight with these is going to be the age range or the weight range of the kids. Some of them are going to be for younger kids. Others are going to be for older kids. Some are going to be able to convert from younger to older which if you're able to offer some that can convert from younger to older kids, do those. Those sell absolutely amazing because parents are going to want to buy one and they're going to want to try to get as much use out of it as they possibly can. Next up, we have baby knee pads. Now, baby knee pads are going to be extremely helpful for kids when they're learning how to crawl. The reason I say this is because I actually have one that's starting to crawl now. And when you see him crawl on the floor, especially on hard floors, it, it, it makes you feel bad because I myself have gotten on my knees on hard floors and it hurts. Now, I can't imagine for a little baby who's just learning how to do this. So what these knee pads are going to do is, for one, it's going to make it softer for them to crawl. It's going to protect their knees. And at such an essential age for development, you want to protect everything that you can. You want to make sure that everything keeps going and growing and developing as it needs to. 
So for one, these are going to provide protection for baby's knees. And two, it's actually going to give them more grip. So a lot of the times when a baby's starting to crawl, their knees can slip out from under them. And when that happens, they can actually fall forward and hit their head. I'm telling you because that happened to my son a few days ago. And it was just an absolute drama show. Something like this will really help them keep grip and actually start to learn and gain some traction. At the end of the day, these baby knee pads can help kids start to crawl a little bit quicker because again, it's gonna provide them a bit more support and more grip as they're learning. At number 12, we have baby slippers to protect those tiny little feet. Now these can range all the way from newborn up until toddlers. So you're gonna have tons of different options to sell for these. These are gonna be some for girls, some for boys, different designs. Some are gonna be a bit thicker, some are gonna be a bit cooler for the summertime. So you're gonna have tons of different options that you can offer. So make sure you take advantage and offer as many variations as you can. These, for the most part, are gonna be kind of fashion accessories. It's gonna be ways to dress up the baby, which trust me, moms love to do a lot. Whether it be a boy or girl, kids are gonna be dressed up. So if you can offer a few different variations, a few different colors, and more importantly, a bunch of different sizes, then you have the option to sell quite a good amount of these. Now, if you do want to upsell and if you want to increase your average order value, try offering some kids clothes to go along with it. Try offering these in matching sets and to take it a step further, try doing seasonal outfits. So for the summer, offer something that's lightweight, something with a tank top and maybe shorts. For the winter, you can offer some that are a bit fuzzier along with a baby coat or a baby onesie. Baby feeding chairs are up next and these are just an absolute classic. These are ones that have been used since the beginning of time to help feed kids. But nowadays, there's a few different variations and some pretty helpful ones at that. So while you still have your standard typical high chair, one like this one, this one's actually really nice because it's made out of wood and a lot of people love natural wood. But while you still have the typical ones like this, the standard high chairs, now there's also a few more modern versions. So this is one that actually extends. Now, a lot of people put their kids on either a table or let's say a seat to be able to feed them, in which case you can't really put a high chair on it, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to put, I guess you can say a low chair, which is essentially the same thing, except it just doesn't have the big legs. Now these are offered in those two different variations, but now there's also one that converts from a low chair to a high chair. So as you can see, the legs on this one are actually able to be removed. So here it stops at the step stool while here it has the extra legs for the rollers. So this in itself can be put, let's say on a small table or on a little platform to be able to feed the kids while the higher version is gonna be used on its own and it's just gonna stand on its own on the floor. Aside from that though, they also have some smaller, more dedicated ones if you just wanna keep a low profile. And that's one like this one right here. So as you can see, this is just a tiny chair to put your little tiny human in. These are actually very popular. I myself have one like this, except it doesn't have these legs. It's just completely solid. And we use that to put the baby on top of the table and we can comfortably feed them there. Now, the best thing about that is that they're actually very safe. It might sound weird to say I'm gonna put the baby on the table, but these don't move. Most of the times they have some sort of grip on the bottom. And of course, following the proper safety precautions, the baby needs to be strapped in. So for anybody that's skeptical about these, those are two safety features that you can highlight to give them peace of mind. Up next, Colorful baby bibs. Now, every single baby is gonna have a baby bib and they're not just gonna have one, they're gonna have a lot. <laughs> so my kid actually has tons of these simply because we're always buying more. Why are we always buying more? Because either one, they're always getting way too dirty, two, we're running out, or three, we're losing them. I don't know what happens to them. But this is just a regular occurrence. This is something that all parents go through and they're always gonna be upgrading their baby bibs. They're always gonna be buying more and they're always gonna be buying more comfortable and more better looking ones. Now, when it comes to baby bibs, you have a few different options. So for one, you're gonna have the cloth ones and two, you're gonna have the silicone ones. Now, these are both used in two different applications. So the cloth ones, you can market more for regular feeding time, and especially if they're using purees or if they're still drinking milk, while the silicone ones, you can market for older babies or older toddlers. And the reason for this is because they actually have a little pocket built in. So if they're eating and they drop any food, it's gonna be caught in that pocket where they can just simply just pick it back up and eat it. Really what this does is it just helps with messes. So it makes messy eaters, babies or toddlers, a bit cleaner, and it makes it easier to clean up for parents, which is a huge plus. That right there is the wow factor, less cleaning during mealtime. Next, we have baby teething beads or teething toys in general. So when a baby starts teething, they start to chew on everything. So because of that, parents buy teething beads. 
Now, what these are going to be is they're going to be baby safe beads. Really, all they're going to be are just going to be these little chewing toys for kids that are going to be made out of baby safe silicone. That's one thing that I'm going to tell you right now. Make sure that absolutely everything that you offer when it comes to kids, especially something that they're going to be playing with or something that they're going to be putting in their mouth, like these beads, make sure that they're baby safe. You need to do that. It is imperative that everything here is rated safe for babies. Now, these are going to come in a few different variations. For one, they're going to come like these right here, which just look like little circles, which can also be like little bracelets where the kid is just going to grab it and they're just going to chew on it. But then there's also going to be a few other variations like this one right here. This is actually one of my favorite ones, and that is a baby teething necklace. So this is something that the mom or the dad are going to wear. Well, in this case, the mom and the baby's going to be chewing it as they're holding the baby. So a lot of the times they're holding the baby and the baby's trying to grab stuff, grab the hair, chew it. So instead of doing all of that, they're just going to grab onto the beads and they're going to chew on those. A lot of kids like to grab parents jewelry. This is the perfect alternative. So that way the kids don't break their jewelry as well. But again, remember, you need to make sure that it is baby safe silicone products. You need to make sure that it is food grade silicone. Make sure that anything that you offer that these kids are going to put in their mouth or play with, it needs to be baby safe. Next up, we have hypoallergenic stuffed animals hypoallergenic. There you go. I said it right. Well, what these are, are really stuffed animals that are not too fuzzy or have too many things to make a baby sneeze. So these are going to be helping kids with, again, their allergies and just making sure that they don't have too much fur or too much of that little fuzzy stuff around their entire area or in their face, because they're going to be hugging these a lot. Now, the reason for hypoallergenic is because you don't know what a lot of these babies are going to be allergic to. You don't want to expose them to a lot of things that they're not supposed to be exposed to at an early age. So having something that's hypoallergenic can be very beneficial. Now, as you can see, these are all fuzzy, but they're not as fuzzy as some of these other stuffed animals. So if you look at this one right here, I've seen these in person before. The fur isn't as fuzzy. It's not as loose. It doesn't come off as much. It's actually pretty thick and it's very soft to the touch. But then if you look at some of these other ones, you can see that they actually don't have fur. They're pretty soft and plush. Again, well, I guess hence the name plush toys, right? But looking through the different options that you have here, you can tell that there's a big difference between hypoallergenic and just your typical stuffed animals. Next up, we have baby bath books. You remember how back in the day, people used to love to sit on the toilet and just read their newspapers or their magazines? Well, babies like to sit in the bathtub and read their baby bath books. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But these are very entertaining toys for kids. I don't know what it is about books, but kids like to grab them and they just like to turn the page and play with them. So having these bath books can be very entertaining for kids. Now, the best thing is, is of course, they're not going to be made out of paper. They're going to be made out of some sort of waterproof material. A lot of the times you're going to have some sort of plastic inside, which makes that little crinkly noise, which kids absolutely love and go crazy for. So offering these to your customers can be very beneficial for one, to keep them entertained during bath time, and two, as an actual development toy. So as they get older, they can start to read these books. Of course, it's gonna take a little bit, maybe they're gonna have to be four or five years old, but at the end of the day, it's something that they can have in the bathtub with them and just play with, throw around, and of course, just crinkle up. Now, this next one isn't necessarily for the baby as much as it is for the mom before she has the baby. So pregnancy pillows are a huge must. My wife, when she was pregnant with both kids, she always needed one of these pregnancy pillows. Without it, it's extremely uncomfortable and sometimes even painful to sleep. So as the baby starts to get bigger in the womb, it's going to get a lot more uncomfortable for the mom to sleep. Sometimes it's going to cause back problems. Sometimes it's just going to cause pain all over. So these pregnancy pillows can really help with that. It helps alleviate the pain and it helps them sleep in a few different positions without compromising anybody's safety. Now, these are going to come in a lot of different variations. Some of them are going to be small pillows that you simply put between your legs so that you can fall asleep. Others are going to be full on body pillows to just help you all over. Some are going to be dedicated just for the belly. Some are going to be dedicated just for the back. So if you can offer as many different variations as you can, each with its own features, targeting a specific body area, then you're going to have the potential to have some pretty high orders simply because not everyone wants the same thing. Not everyone's going to have the same problems. So having different variations that can cater to different people can ultimately potentially be more profitable. All right. Up next is one that babies have ever since they're born, and that is a baby swaddle. Swaddles help babies feel more comfortable. It helps them get a sense of warmth and a sense of being held. 
and it keeps them bundled up in a little burrito. Now, baby swaddles are gonna come in a few different variations. For one, they're gonna be simply the swaddle themselves where the parent is gonna wrap their baby in. Now, I've used these in the past and they work, but if the parent isn't actually good at swaddling up their baby, like me, then it's not really gonna be very helpful, is it? So because of this, there are a few other options, some that are actually very, very useful. For one, there's this style right here, which is the one that I ended up using. So what this is, is just a swaddle that you're gonna put your baby in and you're just gonna zip it up. It works just like a regular swaddle. It's tight in all of the same places and it helps comfort the baby. And best of all, it's super easy to put on and take off. Aside from that though, there are gonna be a few other variations that have Velcro. So if you look at this one right here, this one is also another one of the swaddles that's easier to put on that doesn't necessarily require wrapping your baby up into a little burrito. Now, for some reason, the pictures weren't loading, but let's check out the video really fast. And this shows you exactly how easy it is to use it. So you just put the baby in through the top, you hold them down, one side over, other side over the other one, Velcro down, and that's it. You're done. So this makes it a lot easier rather than putting them in, wrapping them all up, sticking the little ends wherever they're supposed to go. And, well, you know, you get the picture. Lately, these easy swaddles, that's what I like to call them, easy swaddles, make it a lot easier for parents to swaddle their kids and a lot faster. Nowadays, people don't have time for absolutely anything. So if there's anything that you can speed up or streamline, people are going to go for it. And last but certainly not least, we have a baby inflatable bathtub. Oh, somebody could use a bath. This is actually something that's kind of new, I think. I haven't seen these too often. This is probably one of the first times that I started seeing this when I was doing the research for these products. And these things are absolutely genius. So you can inflate it, put it in your bathtub, put it outside, put it in your living room if you need to. And you can shower your baby there. Best part is that it's inflatable. Once you're done, just dry it, take the air out and put it away. I've always used the big plastic tubs and realistically they take up a lot of space especially if you have a small bathroom in those small bathrooms you're gonna have everything in there plus this big tub for the baby it just takes up space it causes a lot of clutter and something like this an inflatable baby bathtub is the perfect solution honestly i wish i could have found one of these before i bought the plastic tub but as you can see these are essentially mini swimming pools for babies these are awesome these are great and they're super helpful, to be honest with you. These look fantastic. The convenience of being able to put these away and store them is could be the perfect selling point. And those were the top 20 baby products to drop ship right now. Now remember, a lot of these have tons of different variations, so make sure you offer as many variations as you can. Try to find some that have unique selling points and unique features. That's what's really gonna make you stand out and start to get more sales. Also, with your marketing, get creative. Show these products in use. Order a sample to your house if you don't have a kid, if you don't have a baby. Order one to a friend's house. Ask them to make a video in exchange for the free product. This organic type of marketing is what does the best, especially when it comes to kids or kids' products. Remember, these kids aren't the ones that are on TikTok or on Instagram Reels, it's the parents. So as they're scrolling through everything, they're gonna find your product and they're gonna say, whoa, I absolutely need this right now. This can help make whatever a lot easier. So get creative with your marketing as well. Make sure you don't sleep on TikTok. Make sure you keep posting on TikTok and start making content. If you're not on there, get on there right now. You're missing out on a lot of traction, a lot of money, and a lot of potential views. Views that can ultimately be translated into profits. Now, with that being said, remember that we have the cheat sheet. If you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below the hashtag baby products. And let me know which one of these products was your favorite and which one you plan on adding to your store. My suggestion, add all of them, especially if you're in the baby niche. But let me know which one was your favorite down in the comments below. And once I see that you went ahead and did that, I'll reply back with a link to the sheet. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. If you did make it this far, that means you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video, then you better leave a like button. Otherwise, I'm going to be very sad. So if that's the case, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. With that, my name is Mario with AutoDS. I wish you all nothing but the best in your dropshipping business. And I catch you all next time.